Welcome back. If you're looking for unique gifts, we've got the place for you. Queen Bee Market at Del Mar Fairgrounds. Courtney Ford of Soboho and Tarina Matthews of Chalk Couture join us this morning to talk about this event and the unique items you'll be able to check out. By the way, I'm going to be there on Saturday. Oh, yeah, it's gonna, yes, it's my first time. I want to oh. check it out. You know why? Because I want to buy something unique. Yes. Okay, and you can't find that, you know, at a local, just, you know, random store. No. You know, so um, we're going to start with you. Tell me what you have going on here, Courtney. Right now, I am working on a chunky knit pillow, and I'll be having two workshops on Saturday and work one workshop on Sunday. Mm -hmm. So if you want to learn how to make the final product of a round chunky pillow, Ra can, it's so soft too. <laughs> it is so uh, cute. You can okay. Keep it for yourself, you can gift it to someone this holiday season. It makes for a great gift or a great gift for yourself. Show us how you make this come together. So I just knit it with my fingers. Look just at that. Loop it around. Where did you learn gone. how to do that? I taught myself. You taught <laughs> a yourself? videos online, and next thing you know, I'm knitting up a storm. <laughs> and then, yeah, I love it. And then what's inside? Because I can feel there's something inside there. Yes, yeah, so it's polyfill inside. Okay. You stuff it, and then you bring it all together. You close the bottom, and then you close the top, and you're all set to go. Do you make these in all different sizes, and people can find these at the market? Yes, I make them. This is my one specific size, but I do make them in about eight or nine different colors. So this is, I love this. Options. They're so soft, too. <laughs> you said you make blankets. I do. Blankets and the pillows. Are How long does it take you to make something like this? The pillow about 30 minutes okay. but it gets a couple hours depending on the size yeah 30 minutes I mean that's still really impressive <laughs> um, you also have these scrunchies uh, yes. handmade look at all these different designs yeah I make all the scrunchies by hand I make hair accessories too and zipper pouches I like to say sewing runs in my family my grandma sewed for her eight children my aunt now sews and she's channeled me through yes. this journey. So. What, what did they say? The apple doesn't fall far from Not the tree, bit, right? No. <laughs> um, so I was going to ask you what inspired you, so you just answered that question. But um, talk about what inspires you to make all these different, you know, designs. I mean, this is, I, I definitely won't find this at the store. Yes, it's something I have an addiction of going to the fabric store and shopping. It's kind of <laughs> other girls go to the mall and go to the fabric store. Yeah, that's right. Put your addiction to use and it's awesome. And look at these little uh, Christmas little trees. Christmas Christmas yeah. trees, yeah. Um, you make these as well. Talk mm -hmm. about them. I uh, knit these as well using a little bit smaller yarn, but I have a few different colors as well, a green and a cream color I'll have available this weekend too, and along with a bunch of variety. Courtney, of you are so talented. <laughs> thank you, you are so talented. And you as well, Tarina. Oh, Talk you. about your work. Well, um, we use our DIY. This is a DIY. You really can make it yourself. Okay. You could either buy the finished goods or you could actually use our silk screen transfers. So these are just unique items for the house, yes. right? Okay. Or gifts. Oh, gifts. Yeah, yeah, yeah oh, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Great. So we use our silk screen transfers and it's really simple, quick, and easy. Spread on the chalk paste. And you're gonna um, teach people how to make some of this stuff we are. at We're the market. We are doing two two classes. Oh, look at that! It's just that easy. Wow. Yeah. Our silk trains are reusable, so you could actually create them, mm -hmm. create uh, multiple projects. This is um, our make and take our booth. So we're doing make and takes at the booth. We're also doing two classes over the weekend. Do, do you know the times? Um, 11 o'clock both days. Saturday and Saturday Sunday. Saturday and Sunday. Are, are they free with admission? Um, the classes are not, um, okay. They, but they can sign up uh, online or they can actually go and just do the class there. So talk about the, this company in itself. You are the designer I am behind. A, I'm an independent designer yeah. and what we do is we use our silk screen transfers to create finished product. Okay. So all of these things come from my brain, but we use the silk screens to Let's create them. see some of it. This is beautiful. Thank you. This is actually um, an upcycle of a cabinet door. Really? Yes. So you can, I mean, you, you're looking at the back. You yes, I am see. totally looking at the back. <laughs> so I'm like, can I can't go, see. Yeah, you can actually see um, that I've just taken an old door and painted it and then used our silk screen to create the design on the front, add a wreath and some bows. I love it. The Queen Bee Market has been going on for, you know, several years, $3 entry uh, fee, kids under 12 are free. Um, do you know how many other vendors are there? There's about 100 vendors and also the first 50 people every day get a, a 
swag bag. That is amazing. Full of amazing products. And so many people with yeah. creative minds coming yeah. together, yes. right? So this is going to be my first time attending, so oh. I'm actually looking forward to it. Um, I, I better bring a lot of money because I have a feeling it, <laughs> it quickly adds up, right? Well, and if you see it, buy it because I'm telling you, they're so unique. All of the uh, items are so unique that you're not going to find it anywhere else. I, I, I believe it. Okay, before I toss it to Eric, Courtney, one last question for you. You're going to be teaching two classes as well. Yes. What time? Saturday, one is at 12.30. Or I'm sorry, 12, and then 12 or uh, 1:30. Sunday is 12.30 to 1.30. Okay, so if anybody wants to learn how to make these balls or blankets yeah. and stuff like that, um, you can go and check it out, and uh, and uh, Courtney will let you know how she does it all. It's <laughs> Eric, this ball is so soft. Yeah, I don't want to let nice. go because it's actually so cold. So oh, yeah. It's so cold. <laughs> Where's your blanket like that you made? Uh, blanket for will you be out there. Saturday and Sunday. Yeah, the blankets are going to be there Saturday and Sunday. So, Eric, I know you've been looking for gifts, yes. maybe unique ones. Queen Bee Market. There it Delmar is. Fairgrounds. I might be joining it out there. All right, ladies, thanks for that.